Okay, we're gonna see if this works. Wow. Okay. I wanted to film something for you guys before I get on the road. Um, but I don't know if that's gonna happen now. Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. I finally found the spot where I could park for a second and talk to you all. I just got a delicious oat milk latte from this place called Outlanders, I think. I got just oat milk with a little bit of cinnamon. Very good. I'm so happy I can make it out here to see my family because everyone's gonna be together for this wedding. Sadly, my husband isn't coming, but I'll get to see my siblings and stuff, which will be really nice. Sure. Hey, you gonna get drunk? Oh, oops. Huh. I'm actually videoing. My bad. Ryan. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, I just called you Haley. Sorry. What is this? Well, show us your dance. Well, like, some of them have stunts. Oh, stunts? Yeah. Okay. Just show us like what it can, what like what it consists of. Okay, don't video me. Okay. <laughs> now you're videoing me. <laughs> can you all do it with me, Adley and Ryan? Adley, okay. do you want to dance with her? No, 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 no. No, Ryan. I'm getting 40% off on shorts right now. <laughs> How about I do it with you? Okay. Let's see. Haley. Haley, where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, Arkansas. And what is your favorite thing to do in the summer? Go to the lake and the beach. Okay. Thanks, Haley. <laughs> Yeah. You'd be able to send them to them on my phone when you get them done. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah uh huh. That. I'll send this yeah. to you. I love to Where is my phone? Good morning. We are going to be making my great grandma's bread recipe. She used to make bread every single day for all of her children, and so we're going to make it. All right. We are going to make some bread. Mama's, mom's recipe. So, my great grandma, right? Mama, whose recipe is this for? Or Mama, who Mama Vera. Mama Vera. So my great grandma, her bread recipe. Okay. First thing you do, you cut half a Okay, so three yeast? Oh wow, that's a lot of yeast. So the ingredients, we have yeast, we have flour, we have a little bit of sugar, and some oil. Oh, actually this is salt and then that's sugar. Oh wow, you mix the yeast in the water, okay. And you also go ahead and do that. So we have one cup of hot water and then we're mixing that water. lukewarm water. Three packets of yeast in your one cup of water along with two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, so we just stir it and kind of let it sit. Okay, next. Step two, two cups of water and two. It says one T S P. 
you put okay so that was three teaspoons of salt okay. seeded but look at it it's so it needs to, and this it needs just to start puff up should be puffing up okay next it should kind of start foaming as, as you let it sit. Okay, what was your mm -hmm. okay, so the next step after the salt is gonna be three tablespoons of sugar. My mom needs to make this every day. Every single day? They didn't vibrate. Whoa, that's they cool. Made, I mean, This is one tablespoon, Darren. No longer. <laughs> has to be correct. Ooh, get a video of that. So this is after our sugar, we do three tablespoons of, of vegetable vegetable oil or olive oil. Any kind of oil. Canola, olive oil. It doesn't matter. This is ring shot. Oh, look over there. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's head look ring shot. Yep. Well, do you want it to be more? <laughs> the red Nazi. Let's <laughs> see. It's going to take all the time. It's perfect. <laughs> it's all in the way you pour it. Each time you need to pour it differently <laughs> to give it another <laughs> layer of flavor and fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After the oil, Okay, now the rest is on y'all. I'm gonna check you all some tips. Okay. So measure your flour, and when you measure it, don't pack it down. Kind of okay. scoop it with that spoon <coughs> into there. How many cups? Yeah. Do we need to stir this first? We're going to stir everything. At the beginning, no, no, Three. Not all at one time. You measure it out a cup at a time. Okay. So how many total cups, or does it depend? Well, you see. You have to tell by what your dough looks like. Uh -oh. It says seven and a half, but you can tell by what your dough. I'll yeah, be able to okay. show y'all some tea. So, cup like. one. We have to just make sure we count. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, look, I tell y'all, when I cook, it's a mess, but I don't care. Yeah. Because it's going to end up. That, so, that's two, one. Two. Yeah, okay. so we've done two cups. Okay, after that one, start stirring, honey, and, and stir, stir, stir. So this like is puffing up you can, a lot. You can put it in your big... Mommy, you had to come in and pick over my family, right? He's trying to help. Yeah, he's just helping. He's like yeah, stirring it. hard in. enough. Okay, he's hurry. Okay, go ahead. At the table, watching my grandmother. She never used a spoon, she used her hands. Yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, can you well, okay. wash her? She'd be Dear talking, Lord. she'd have one hand in the bowl doing I mean, what the college, that's what I do. Go over there and eat fresh them. bread, boy, right out of the oven. It's so important with the yeast, because I've done it myself. Had the water too, and it won't if you see it's not bubbling, you gotta start all over. And the secret to letting, making the uh, yeast rise up faster, you put those two teaspoons or even two tablespoons of sugar in that warm water, and that makes it, y'all saw how fast? Yeah, Ooh. it did. That's the secret. Now that's looking on bread dough, I promise you. <laughs> now that's looking on bread dough, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's we five. Five, okay? So five. we could definitely add another one, I think. Order. Yeah, that that turns hard. And you know what? She don't. She never. You know how some people need when they make bread, they need the dough and need. Right. The you don't have to do that. You don't have to knead here. Because okay. Because you stir, stir, stir that bowl, you don't and that's need why. To me. No, you don't need to knead, but you need to stir. It gets tough. And look, let me teach you guys a trick out there. You can press this bowl against your belly, <laughs> <laughs> and it'll hold it in place. Yeah, that's what that belly is there for. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what, girl? Even though it says seven and a half, you yeah. you you look at your dough. 
Yeah, this looks, mom, this looks. That is almost there. That might be yeah, crossfit. Now, right there. what you do after this, you take some oil on your hand. In the after six you cups. finish mixing. Separate. Put oil, not a whole bunch of oil, but just kind of oil. And you flip it over and you put a little oil. Then you cover it up and forget about it for about an hour. And you let it proof. And maybe if the room is not cold, it, it, it'll even take it four or five minutes. Yeah, that may be But fine. if your room is cold, uh, it takes a little bit long. But it, oh. that thing will come up. We can put it, like, maybe over there by the sun. Yeah, we're so. warmer. They're coming for me. My bread's so good, they got to arrest me. My bread's so good, they got to arrest me. But no fool. And you know how many rolls it's gonna make? That big old uh, a lot. It's gonna make all that, of them. That thing's full. Cool. And never right. succeed in doing like my mom, where you take a bite and it's so light. <clears throat> but I tried. And they were still good, but my mom did it better. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, she, I'm telling you, I bet you she put seven up in there and didn't let anybody tell. She probably, you don't wanna compress it, just, you can pat it, yeah. but you don't wanna. But then you flip it the, yeah. the other side, I think. If it's hot and you do the same, that's perfect. The other, the and get some more oil. and then do the other side the same way. So this is, we're gonna go ahead and let it sit for an hour, and this is the before it rises. It's not gonna take an hour. 